members, friends, well wishers, please come in and sit. You are free to return once the eulogy is read. Our eulogy this afternoon will be read by Bonita St. Bryce. So I'd like to invite Miss St. Bryce to please come up. Thank you very much. Like I said, you will return after the eulogy is read. I would like to make a plea once more for those persons standing at the entrance. Let us give Miss St. Bryce a patient hearing. It is only respectful that we listen while she is reading. So once again, you are free to return after the eulogy is read. Can we do that quickly so we can proceed with the service? Come on, people, just have a seat. You can take a seat at the back there. That's fine. Jones St. Bryce, whom we also call T. Gates, Gunman, and Sheshe, was born on October 2nd, 1960. He was one of 12 children born to Teresa Antoine and deceased Theodore Antoine from Mon Lacroix. At a young age, he went to make work America. He went to America to work on the sugarcane farm for a while. That he loved very much. I can clearly recall from each trip upon returning, I will be sure to get my packages from him, filled with sweets and lots of clothing. He then went to work for Shepherd as a security guard, and then then after. He found a new job working on the Union Vale Estate as a security. Again, not once did he ever complain about his job. Every now and then, on the job, Uncle John would, Uncle John would run over to his friends 
Marie, and this is Christy to get his favorite, which we all know, and who joke around with them. They love having him around. He was a very jovial man. Uncle John was someone anyone can joke around with. And Titi Mary and Uncle John would always joke around with each other all the time. It would be gunman this, gunman that, and they would laugh about it. Let's not go for Keisha. She would always hide and complain about his drinking, but would feel sorry about him and would still give it to him. I would just watch them and laugh. Let's talk about Sammy and Malan, always grooming him to look good on for his Sunday walks to Unionville or Delsey. Uncle John would sit and watch the boys, Solomon, Jokos, make fish pots over and over and made sure they made the fish pot the right way he taught them. Every Sunday, for sure, he would get all dressed up and made sure he went to pay his friend's visit. He would never go empty handed If it's not fish, he must find something to take to them. All the children in the community who trouble him with his favorite name. Tickets, tickets. We saki vote, I di papa otsa. Uncle John, he was a very helpful man. And I mean nothing, nothing would be a problem for him. A giver, all of us today can attest to that. His favorite hobby was making brooms, fish pots, farming. He and Catherine would enjoy spending time together by the beach fishing. We would always joke around when we saw them passing. Romeo and Juliet, Romeo and Juliet. And then the drama would begin. On January 12th, my uncle got into a very serious accident duty at work. And from that day on, On January 12, 2019, my uncle got into a very serious accident while on duty at work. And from that day on, my uncle's life was never the same. After complaining for a suffered for a while, we decided to take him to the doctor and get some tests done. And on March 3rd, 2022, he was diagnosed with stage 3 thyroid cancer. And his life just came crashing after. After many doctor visits, we try our utmost best. But time was not on our side. Throughout these months, he condi his condition kept getting worse. But we all had faith and we hoped for the best. On November 6th, I got this call and I heard the screams and I just knew he was gone. He was gone. <laughs> it hurts. It really hurts. <laughs> We are broken. Life will never be the same without you. But I know you are in a better place. Your memory will forever stay in my heart. We love you, Uncle John. Say hi to Daddy Baby for us. Fly high with the angels, tickets. Fly high. Family members, you can return to the entrance. At this time, I want to invite us to let's all stand as we welcome our officiating priest for this afternoon, Father Sami. Family members, you can return so that you can proceed upward with the family if you so desire.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I bless the body of our brother Jones and Bryce with the holy water that recalls of his baptism of which St. Paul writes, all of us who are baptized in Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. By baptism into his death we are buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day of his baptism, Jones and Bryce put on Christ. The day of Christ's coming, may he be clothed with glory. Our entrance him, come and go with me.
My dear brothers and sisters, we have come together to renew our trust in Christ, who by dying on the cross has freed us from eternal death, and by rising has opened for us the gates of heaven. Therefore, let us pray for our brother Jones, that he may be share in Christ's victory. Let us pray for ourselves. The Lord may grant us a gift of his loving consolation. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who fall asleep. Grant that through this mystery your servant Jonas, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. We will now listen to our readings for this afternoon. Our first reading is taken from the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 17 to 26. Can the two readers please come forward? My soul is shut out from peace. I have forgotten happiness. And now I say, my strength is gone. That hope which came from the Lord, brooding on my anguish and affliction, is gall and wormwood. My spirit ponders it continually and sinks within me. This is what I shall tell my heart, and so recover hope. The favors of the Lord are not all past. His kindnesses are not exhausted. Every morning they are renewed. Great is his faithfulness. My portion is the Lord, says my soul. And so I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who trust him, to the soul that searches for him. It is good to wait in silence for the Lord to say the word of the Lord. In response to this reading, the choir will lead us in the hymn, Here I Am, Lord.
listen to our second reading taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 5, verses 5 to 11. Hope is not deceptive because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by his Holy Spirit which has been given to us. We were still helpless when at his appointed moment Christ died for sinful men. It is not easy to die even for a good man. Though of course for someone really worthy a man mighty be prepared to die but what proves that God loved us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners having died to make us righteous it is likely that he would now fail to save us from God's anger when we were reconciled to God by the death of his son we were still enemies now that we have been reconciled surely we may count on being saved by the life of his son not merely because we have reconciled but because we have filled with joy trust in god though our lord jesus christ through whom we have already gained our reconciliation the word of the lord Brothers and sisters, let's all stand for the proclamation of the gospel. comes the Savior we are waiting for, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, See that you are dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like men waiting for their master to return from the wedding feast ready to open the door as soon as he comes and knocks. Happy those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. I tell you solemnly, he will put on an apron, sit them down at table and wait on them. It may be in the second watch he comes or in the third but happy those servants if he finds them ready. You may be quite sure of this, that if, he, if the household had known at what hour the bugler would come, he would not have let anyone break through the wall of his house. You too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus
my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus to the grieving family my condolence may the word of God give you comfort and strength this time of grief and pain every human being goes through pain in life in all this the worst thing is death death shatters anyone we may call ourselves strong or we call ourselves I'm able to go through this time of grief and pain but when death knocks at our door it shatters everyone so today as we come to bid farewell to our brother Jonah Senbrise we need to thank God for the gift of life the Lord blessed him with this is 62 years of life and the family he was blessed with and the friends who had acquaintance with him in all this lifetime this all is God's blessing and therefore it is not only when we are happy we need to think of God it's not only when we are we need something we need to pray to God it's also good in our grief in our pain we think of the goodness what the Lord has done for us so as you grieve the loss of our, your brother your father your uncle your friend at this time let's give thanks to God as we heard in the in the hallelujah acclamation our homeland is in heaven and from heaven comes the Savior we are waiting for the Lord Jesus Christ heaven is our homeland because that's where we all came from and that's where we have to return but between the lifetime that is come from heaven and going back to heaven is our lifetime on earth for which our Holy Mother Church keep repeatedly nurturing us through the word of God to put our lives in order today is the Thursday of the first week of Lent of Advent the first week of the Advent all our reflection is waiting awaiting for the coming of the Lord as today in the gospel as well tells Jesus tells his disciples see that you are dressed for action and your lamps lit in all our lifetime dear brothers and sisters we must make sure that we are ready for action when I say ready for action I am not talking about the action that at a party I am not talking about the action at a fun time this action that I'm talking about is completely spirit filled action ready be ready that you are dressed for action you know when we go to a party we have a separate dress when you go to church we have an attire a special dress when you go to do our sports we have a special dress but here the Lord speaks to his disciples and talks about a dress that which is fitting for us to be ready for our master when we cook we put on apron apron is a dress that one puts on while cooking dish an apron is the one one puts on when welcome a guest an apron is in our spiritual life getting ready dressed for action is be ready for the master to come as today's gospel tells us we don't know at what time the master will come 
it could be the second watch it could be late in night could be early in the morning but still night but we don't know when if only we know at what time the burglar would come we would not let him break the walls of our houses since we do not know they come and break any time but jesus says the same way you must be ready because you never know at what time the son of man is coming now this coming could be death not could be it is death why we human beings when we happy to live why we not happy to die because death separates us from our loved ones that's why we not happy to die do we ever realize that we love our loved ones during our lifetime we say we love our loved ones but we have a lot of bitterness among us and that is where we have to be ready that we make we keep our relationship with respect with love with care when we live our lives here on earth but be certain when our life ends here we are not going anywhere or elsewhere then back to heaven so we need to be ready so the time the lord gives us to put things right let us always be dressed for action dressed to love dressed to make peace dressed to care dressed to show respect and that way we my dear brothers and sisters can enjoy our life little more than what is usual may god give you comfort as today's second reading tells us hope is not deceptive as we know we every every day of our life is depending on hope we go to sleep we have hope that we will see the sunrise we board the bus to go to work we hope we will come back home safe and sound so our life moves on with hope so let us continue to hope hope is not deceptive and especially hoping in god will never be deceptive because jesus died for us to give us salvation let us cherish that salvation let us be part of this salvation let us be dressed for action to welcome our messiah in the celebration of christmas let's prepare well stay awake because we do not know the day or the hour may god give you comfort to the family of st bryce who grieve and may god be your strength eternal rest grant unto him o lord and let perpetual light shine upon him may the soul of jonas st bryce and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace i see some faces i am familiar with from shwazel they'll say nice to see you all do we have bidding prayers from family members yes those persons with bidding prayers can you please come up i invite the rest of the congregation to stand as well dear brothers and sisters Our brother professed Christ in the baptism in sacraments of Holy Eucharist on confirmation. Today as we come together, let us 
pray to God in our faith to grant us comfort and grant our brother eternal life. A prayer of thanks for my church. Today, I thank you for my church. While some might think of doors and windows, I'm praising you for spirit and hearts. The people whose lives you've intersected are remarkable through your grace. I can't praise you enough for the unique way. You've blended the talents of individuals into beautiful masterpieces of joy. May we love one another to the fullest and be evidence of your ultimate love to advance the work of your kingdom. In Jesus' name I pray. Lord, graciously hear us. A prayer for the nation. God of hope, in these times of change, unite our nation and guide our leaders with your wisdom. Give us courage to overcome our fears and help us to build a future in which all may prosper and share. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Prayer for comfort. May the Lord of God and the peace of all the Lord Jesus Christ bless and console us and gently wipe every tear from our eyes in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Prayer for those we have lost. Almighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life. Hear our prayer and thanksgiving for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love and bring us all with them to your internal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. A short prayer for comfort. May the love of God and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ bless and console us and gently wipe away our tears from our eyes. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Dear God, give us your peace, give us your love and kindness. Thank you for being so good to us, for your daily mercy and wonders. Amen. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of our brother, for whom we pray, Jonas and Bryce, that he may sleep in Christ, and grant him a place in the kingdom. We ask this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, we take up a collection. Please be notified that the monies collected go towards the upkeep of the Sufre Cemetery. We invite a few persons to assist us with the collection. Our hymn, Service.
this time we have the signing of the register. So I'd like to invite the witnesses to please come up. Catherine Celia Jones, Keisha St. Bryce, Anthony St. Bryce, and Mervyn St. Pri. Also, I'd like to invite Sharon Theodule, who will be doing a special rendition. Please come up. I would like to extend condolences to the bereaved family and friends. Song is entitled Never Be Forgotten. I'll always see your face, the corner of your smile, and all the little things that no one will ever know like it was yesterday won't ever fade away goodbye is just a word that i will never say you will never be forgotten a million days could pass us by but what is time but just a dream? Oh, I still feel you here with me. You're more than just a memory. Oh, you will never be forgotten. I can't hold your hand. Or look into your eyes And when I talk to you It just echoes in my mind But if hearts are made of dust And if we fell from the stars I look up tonight I know just where you are You will never be forgotten a million days could pass us by But what is time but just a dream Oh, I still feel you here with me You're more than just a memory Oh, you will never be forgotten and the world just keeps on going it has no way of knowing that you're gone you will never be forgotten a million days could pass us by but what is time but just a dream you here with me you're more than just a memory oh you will never be forgotten and the world just keeps on going it has no way of knowing that you've gone. Let's all stand. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Jonas. 
May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again. When the love of Christ which conquers all things destroys even death itself. During the blessing, the choir will lead us in the hymn, It is well with my soul. Send him to God the Most High. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid. Come to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to Abraham's side. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Jonas, in a sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon him in this life. You are signs to us of, of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. Jonas and Bryce, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Brothers and sisters, we've come to the end of our funeral service this afternoon. We take the brother to his final resting place. Father, we'll be proceeding all the way to the cemetery. We ask your indulgence. We ask your patience. We do ask that you make the procession as respectful as possibly you can. Our final hymn, This World is Not My Home.
down Keep me close Safe and sound Burning in a hopeless dream Hold me when you go to sleep Keep me in the warmth of your love When you depart Keep me safe Safe and sound Lift me up Hold me down Keep me close Safe and sound Drowning in an endless sea Take some time and stay with me Give me the strength of your arms Keep me safe, safe and sound Lift me up Hold me down Safe and sound Burning in a hopeless dream Hold me when you go to sleep Keep me safe We need light We need love Lift me up Oh 
clothes safe and sound
Oi. 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 Oi.
Jonas has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let's pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who born be reunited one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus, who, when he who is our life, appears in glory. Lord Jesus Christ, by three days laid the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother Jonas may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory. You are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face, and your light will see light and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God of holiness and power, <coughs> accept our prayers on behalf of your servant and our brother Jonas. Do not count his deeds against him 
for in his heart he decides to do your will. As his faith united him to your people on earth, may your mercy join him to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. Amen. May the soul of Jonas and the souls of faithfully parted, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. People, understand the situation. If you stand close, it will go in. There's one man dig the hole, you know. Let's, let us be a little more patient and do things. Will everybody get angry with one man, what do we need? Help me. Please, please, let us let us stay away from here, please. You might go in again, please. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's going to take a good time. Hello, hello. He's coming. He's coming.
Adios, one man. Rest in peace. Why you come back? Why you come back? Who want to stay? Who 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 stay?
Ah Mam, Sisters, sisters, sisters. Why are you tipping him? He's telling me that he's going to be our commentator. He doesn't know what I'm doing. He's going to be our commentator. He's going to be our commentator. He's going to be our commentator. He's going to be Oh, my way are you, pal? My way Brothers. Brothers, join the sisters. Boy, join the girls. Where's the boys? Where's the boys? Where's the boys? We need the boys. We need the brothers. I'm the brothers. How many sisters Mr. Joe. Brothers, boys, 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 the boys, 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 Look at my daughter. Look at my daughter. Brothers, brothers, hello, brothers. I'm going to come to the <laughs> he's there, but he's not calling. Are you ready? What is missing? Yeah, the missing one, he's not calling. He's coming. He's coming already. You're telling me you're waiting for him? Uh, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go
Alright. Alright. Once we join now, let me Everybody, everybody. Hey, I'm Okay, viewers, the family would like to express their thanks and gratitude to everyone who came out and showed their support. The family is grateful for all those who sent in well wishes, all those who blessed them. Okay, viewers, the family would like to express their thanks and gratitude to everyone who came out and showed their support to all those who sent in well wishes, all those who blessed them with. Great intentions. The family is grateful, and to all, and also to our online viewers, 
Thank you very much. Hope you guys have a blessed and amazing afternoon. One love to the map. Yeah, boy. Anybody